Hello, good day. My name is Kumar Hines and I'm an IT training coordinator here at the UWI Open Campus. I'm here today to give you a brief introduction to the UWI Open Campus online system. All resources that you will require to complete your program will be located online. I strongly recommend that you obtain a good working laptop computer with a microphone already installed. If your laptop does not have an embedded microphone, and simply use a microphone headset. To begin, we must navigate to the UWA Open Campus website. Have a look with me as I give you a short tutorial on our system. The UWI Open Campus Online System is a very student-focused online system that aims to encapsulate all student academic activities in one area. To begin, go to open.uwi.edu. At the homepage, feel free to browse around to acquaint yourself with current news and events surrounding your campus. When you're ready, click on the MyOC link at the top of the page. This will open the login form. Input your student ID and password, then click Login. If this is your first time, then the student ID is the ID number you received in the acceptance letter and your password is your date of birth in the format month, day, day, year, year, for example, January 0182 if I was born on the 1st of January 1982. Now, once you've logged in, your student dashboard is shown here. You can begin to conduct research, complete courses, check your mail, view transcripts, make payments, and so much more. Feel free to browse around here and familiarize yourself with the functionality of this area. In this video, we will briefly review some of the main links found under the Quick Links tab. The Learn and Exchange. This is one of the more used links that you will use while online. This link opens up the area where all your courses are located. When you select the link, all your available courses will be displayed here. Do not be too concerned if your courses do not initially show. Courses appear here at the beginning of the semester and only after you manually register each of them. In this demo, I will select a test course called Course. The page now shown is called the Course page. You will have a course page for each course that you are registered for. In the main content area on the right, you will find your entire course content. You are expected to read and complete all activities from the top to the bottom of this page. In the demo, I have shown all weekly content for the entire semester. However, this is not always the case. Your course coordinator may only open your activities a week at a time. The links on the left side of the page are navigation and administration links specific to this course and relate to the main content on the right in one way or the other. Forums Have a look at this particular activity item here, Academic Support Forum. Notice the icon to the left of it. All activities carry an icon and are listed under the Activities tab. You can get a complete directory listing of all forums by clicking on a form link under the Activity tab. To view the forum's content and make a post, simply select the forum. At the top of the forum page, the purpose of the forum will usually be indicated. Scroll on the page if necessary and select the Add a New Discussion Topic button to add your content. Give your post a title and add its content. You can also embed images, videos and links by selecting the appropriate icon. Additionally, you can also attach media as well by using the attachment widget. And that's it. All input boxes on our site are the same, so as long as you can use one box, you can use all of them. Additionally note that posts made inside forums have a 30 minute period where you are allowed to edit them before they go live. After that, you cannot edit them. Urilink. Next is Urilink. This is our online scholarly database repository that connects to thousands of databases online. Simply perform a search for any topic and press search. You will then be presented with all the listings on file for that topic. Choose any link returned from your search. The repositories where the article is stored is listed. Choose a database. The content is then displayed. You may now begin the normal academic process of reading, referencing and so forth. There are also a number of handy tools as well inside each database to fully utilize the document. These include citation tools, printing, emailing of the article, and so forth. Have a look and feel free to investigate. Plagiarism. Back on the course page, you will see the plagiarism link. Plagiarism is very important at the UWI. Be sure to read our guidelines here and follow them to the letter.
help desk. Back in the course page, you'll also find the help desk link. You can submit a ticket to the help desk when you have any technical issues online and they will respond 24 hours or the next working day. You'll also find a grades link on each course page. Clicking it will display all your grades within this course alone, if available. Editing your profile. One thing that all course pages carry within the introductory section of the course page is the edit your profile section. We ask you to edit your profile so that you can bring a social aspect to the online learning area. One of the biggest pitfalls for students is the feeling of isolation in the online learning environment. To counter this, we ask you to edit your profile by uploading a decent photo of your upper body and say a few basic bits about yourself so that we all get to know you a little better. Click on the participants tab and select your name. Scroll down and attach your picture. You can add more information by expanding the optional areas and save changes when finished. Blackboard Collaborate. Here at the UWI Open Campus, our lectures are held online via Blackboard Conferencing. You must ensure your computer is capable of participating in these sessions. All Blackboard links with the times of the lectures will be posted on the course page. Clicking on the link will open the interface. Have a look here at what Blackboard had to say. We know that class can take many shapes, from lectures to group work to one-on-one -on -one sessions that happen in person and online. That's why in Ultra, we've integrated the ability to connect face-to-face -face throughout the classroom. Students and faculty can access a live video conference room at any moment by clicking on the course room control. This launches a collaborate session for your course that is accessible via the web or mobile device. No downloads, plugins, or logins required. And because Collaborate is a part of BB Student, students can join from their mobile device to participate no matter where they happen to be. With Collaborate, running a class is effortless. It's easy to facilitate live discussions with students or fellow classmates through chat and work together on shared files that the entire class can see. For some classes, participation goes beyond discussions and shared files. That's why we've integrated live polling in course rooms and the ability to break classes into working groups at any moment, allowing faculty to move from session to session to interact with or monitor the progress of their students. When class is finished, recordings are automatically posted to the course outline making them easily accessible to both students and faculty. At Blackboard, we know that personal connections with students ultimately lead to better outcomes. That's why we've made it easy for students and faculty to effortlessly connect via Blackboard Collaborate across any device at a moment's notice. And that's it for Blackboard Collaborate. Mail. Leaving the Learn Exchange and navigating back to the Student Dashboard, you will see the Mail link. Clicking on Mail will open your Google Mail. We ask you to use this email address for all official correspondence involving student matters between yourself and the UWI Open Campus Administration. This email acts just like a regular email address and your email will be in the format firstname.lastname at my.open.uwi.edu. Additionally, all administration at the UWI Open Campus will carry emails in the format firstname.lastname at open.uwi.edu. The main difference between staff email to student email is that student email carries the at my.open.uwi.edu extension, whereas staff only carry the at open.uwi.edu extension. The ePortfolio link is an area where you are free to interact as students and create social peer-to-peer -peer online communities that contribute to your fully rounded development as a student. Feel free to jump in and create your first ePortfolio. Next is your eTranscript. Simply click the link and follow the steps to generate an online transcript of your academic progress. Please note that this is not an official transcript. There are some other links inside the Quick Links area and they are pretty self-explanatory. Of particular interest is our registration portal. Under the Student Self-Service tab, we have created a short video on our registration process. Please feel free to watch the video and then proceed to the registration area. We also have under the student resources link, all administrative documents available for you to complete and submit to your local site office as is necessary. Have a read through and if you have any questions, feel free to bounce them off or Barbara Scafield site coordinator Mrs. Althea Collymore and her team. Finally, the online chat facility is available between 8.30am to 4.30pm Eastern Caribbean time. 
You simply click on chat, input your student particulars, and a representative will be with you momentarily. When you're finished, remember to sign out and close all open tabs. And that's it for the UE Open Campus Online Portal. In closing, congratulations on being successfully accepted into the UWI Open Campus community, and I wish you only success in all your academic endeavors.